Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. My chest shoes in the background, that's gross. It's Monday, my name is Grace. If you're new here, I'm gonna balance that coffee on the couch. My roots are a crime against humanity right now. I am getting them done this weekend. I was supposed to get them done Saturday, but I got my second vaccine on Friday. Woohoo! I was actually vlogging Friday, but the second I got home from work, I felt like I was gonna die. <clears throat> so I didn't continue that vlog, but I did get my second vaccine. I got the Pfizer vaccine. So I'm fully vaccinated. I know you can't like participate in the fully vaccinated rules for two weeks, like until two weeks after your second dose, but it's not like I'm traveling anywhere anyways. So my life really remains the same. So I'm excited. But this weekend was quite the doozy because you do really feel like crap after the second vaccine, but I would totally rather feel like crap for one or one and a half days than get COVID or give COVID to someone. So my weekend really consisted of sleeping, which is good because I feel pretty refreshed today and I cleaned the house and organized a lot. I organized the closet on Saturday. And it looks so good. I finally like really put things where it makes sense because when we moved in, I just kind of put our clothes everywhere and never really went back and like adjusted it because then I started working and I'm just like never home. But this weekend I really made it make sense. My claw, okay. I don't really know what I'm going to wear today. Last night I picked out a dress, but it's pretty cold today and rainy. So a dress wouldn't really make sense. And today's my one day of the week where I don't have any closings so I can dress pretty casually if I want. It's 7.40. Oh my God, I was going to go touch my hair again. I'm sorry. It's 7.40. I'm going to have to order lunch today at work because we have no food to take to work to eat. We have to go grocery shopping. What a surprise. But I pretty much always order this salad from a salad bar nearby. Honestly, I probably order it at least three times a week. But it's really not that much money for a salad getting delivered. It's like $12. I feel like that's not that bad in New York. So I don't really feel that bad for doing it. And also I haven't been getting Dunkin' or Starbucks at all. So I really am saving money. Like an economic, a budgeting queen. <laughs> but I'm going to sit here and drink the rest of my coffee. And then make an iced coffee before I go. Figure out what I'm going to wear. I just went through like four outfits to get to this conclusion, which is still a dress, but not the dress I was originally gonna wear. But I just wanted to show you the closet. So what I did was I moved all of my blazers and mainly just blazers, but there's a few sweatshirts over here. So I have like my work tank tops that I would wear with a blazer. And then I just have some more like casual outerwear. Jesse has all his stuff here. I organized my shoes so that they make more sense. And I put my winter shoes up here since I probably wouldn't be wearing those and then like heels I don't really wear often but these are boots that I'll always keep out you know like city going out boots and Uggs sandals work heels flat sandals work shoes more work shoes but they're kind of both and then sneakers and sandals I don't really wear as often and then over here I have all my tops that I hang up. I have a drawer that's just like t-shirts and stuff. And then over here I have some dresses and pants. I actually don't really have that many work dresses. I ordered a whole bunch of dresses from Shopo, I think. They're supposed to get here at the end of the week, so I'm excited to get those. And then I keep sweatshirts, purses, and like random things up there. And then here I keep sweatpants. I have more, but they're in the wash jeans, more sweatpants. I love sweatpants clearly, bags, and then I keep bras and stuff in there. And I moved my workout clothes and bathing suits to these little boxes so that I don't have to have that big white like plastic draw system because it was just taking up so much room and my pants weren't like laying flat or hanging flat. I mean, and I have my laundry basket here, Jesse's laundry basket. And then Jesse has this whole shelf side to him himself over there so he still has ample room but this is my outfit of the day this dress I actually got from thread up I'm doing a video with them soon I don't think it'll be this video but you never know 
I'm obsessed with Thread Up. It's like my new favorite place. I'm not gonna talk about it because I'm doing a sponsored video, but I think this is by Rachel Parcell or Cupcakes and Cashmere, and it was like $12. How freaking cute is this? It's the perfect, just like casual throw it on work dress. And then I'm wearing these shoes from Vici. And before I get any comments from the workplace outfit police, I'm allowed to wear open toe shoes at my job. And I also don't have any clients today or closings or anything. So it really doesn't matter. But I'm allowed to wear open toe shoes at work. So before I get the fashion police on me, I'm very well aware of what I can and cannot wear to work. So yeah, I love this dress. Do I wish my legs were a little tanner? Absolutely. But what can you do? That's the outfit of the day. Oh my God. I got this nitro cold brew at CVS yesterday. Oh Jesus Christ. Um, okay. Peach. I've had it before, but I think last time I had it, it was more nitro-like. But it is good. Nitro cold brew is so smooth. So if you don't like the bitterness of regular coffee, I would try nitro. But it does have a shitload of caffeine in it, so. I just got home from work, but it's time that we reveal the truth to Jesse. and there's only two people on the planet who know it, and it's me and everyone who watches my YouTube videos. What? So, while you were away, or maybe it was before you went away, I was doing your laundry, and I put the stuff in the dryer, and I hear this tumbling. I'm like, what is that? So I open it up, and I go through, and I'm like, I don't know. I can't find anything. So I turn it on again, and it's tumbling. I'm like, okay, something's in there. I put your AirPods through the wash and the but dryer. But I have my AirPods with me. And so it must have before you went away or when you came back. It had to be when I came back because, I mean, they were broken in the first place. But anyway. they still worked. I tested them to see, it's like, oh, can, can you hear? I was like, damn, Jesse's going to kill me because he always says to go through his pockets. But they still I, worked. But now Jesse is the one who officially broke them, so I don't have to take the fall. I left them outside. I didn't know I left them outside. I was just on the phone. Like, knowing you're on the phone, just walk around aimlessly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw them outside getting rained on. Now the landscapers were here today and they're gone. Yeah, so, so rip. But I'll get him new ones for his birthday. And but hair is now I'm not the one who is the cause of it. That was so funny because everyone on my YouTube channel knew, but you don't watch my videos. So I was like, he'll never know. Yeah. Bastard. <laughs> Sorry. You have to buy me new ones anyway for my birthday. And now they're more expensive, so. Are they? I'll do a little Amazon haul. Some of it's stuff for Chelsea, so Chelsea, if you're watching, you have to click off. I'm actually so glad I ordered this stuff yesterday. I got like one day shipping because I had a truly horrendous, wretched, awful day at work today. Um, actually, most of the day was fine, but around five things just took a turn for the worse. So I'm glad this came because I needed some retail therapy, even though it's not for me, but... So Chelsea, really, if you're watching, you have to click off because it's not going to be funny. So the first thing I got for Chelsea was a set of these hair clips. Jesse, stop, because when you're running, it's the fucking floor is vibrating. Yes. I got her a set of these hair clips. A set of these. Stop! Please. I got her a set of these fucking hair clips. I said, Jesse, it's not funny. This is what I deal with, people. Oh, it came with these hair clips. Those are cute. But it's actually six. This was like 11 or $15. And these are so Chelsea. If you guys listen to our podcast, not that you can see us, but she posts a lot of pictures. 
she loves wearing these clips so I thought it was perfect and they're just really cute colors I'll link them down below you get like a sage green a pink purple brown black and a brown so I thought those were very Chelsea but the other thing I got I got her a few things but some of them didn't come yet looking here damn this is smaller than I expected but this also screamed Chelsea to me but this was so cute and I had to resist ordering one for myself but I may do it anyways it's one of these cute little sphere cube candles and it's lavender perfect for their bathroom oh my god it smells so good this actually smells really good i was kind of expecting it to not be that great cute i got her a few other things and the two other things that aren't going to come for a little while are just so perfect so i can't wait to package it all up i'm not going to wrap it i'm going to do like a gift box sort of thing because chelsea's such a good gift giver so i wanted do the same for her i mean last year i got her a pretty good gift too but so that's for chelsea and then for myself for our wedding we're getting married in august if you're new here we're actually already married we're supposed to get married on december 4th have like our regular wedding but with covid restrictions we ended up just having our literal like nuclear family or siblings and parents at like a literal Italian restaurant and we got married there because Jesse's uncle is ordained so he married us in a restaurant but nevertheless we're still going to have our regular wedding because we already paid for it so we might as well so for our wedding day getting ready pictures I want to have our rings in cute boxes the ring the box my ring came in is cute it's black but it doesn't have a, another line for the band so I got this one from Amazon it was like $12 pink and it has two slots. So you can put your engagement ring in and you can put your wedding band in if you are getting married. and got ready I didn't show you just because I showed you me doing my makeup yesterday and I did the same exact thing I can do an updated makeup routine I'm gonna leave but I'm just gonna show you my outfit a little bit different than what I usually wear I guess I got this shirt from thread up as I said I'm doing a video with them so I've been wearing a lot of the clothes I got and I'm like obsessed with all of them this shirt is a little weird looking I feel like it's not that flattering like it almost makes me look pregnant or something which I'm not so I don't know but it is cute and it's nice when you're like feeling bloated or something and you don't want something form-fitting but you don't want to wear like a loose dress or something like that so it's cute but it's from the brand Tramp which I think is a really interesting name for a clothing brand <laughs> then just my H&M slacks I washed them last night which the only reason I did laundry last night was so I could wash these and my DSW shoes because I just felt like I needed to do black with this shirt because it's sort of like a yellowy color with black flowers. That's it. Sorry, I didn't really vlog last night. As I briefly mentioned, I did not have a good day at work yesterday. Maybe I'll talk about it later. I don't really know. I had all these plans of coming home and working out, but I was just not okay. So I didn't. Though I probably, you know, should have. So hopefully I can accomplish that today. But I'm going into today with a positive mindset even though I'm not feeling that way and I'm gonna leave I should probably get gas but I know I can make it to work without getting gas but it's like I definitely can't make it home so we'll see all right I just made it to work I'm actually early on Tuesdays it's like I get to the office at nine because parking is weird on Tuesdays they do like opposite side of the street bullshit can't park here can't park there I don't know I'll never understand parking in the city but should go because I have things I need to do and it's almost nine but I just wanted to announce that I got to work early and it looks very nice out today it's supposed to be a little bit warmer yesterday I wore that dress and it was like so cold all day so bad idea but it's supposed to be nice today the sun's already out so hopefully I have a better day today I'm already thinking like I'm gonna order a salad for lunch yesterday we had pizza at work because we had a new employee start, so it was just like pizza for lunch. Everyone met in the conference room to eat. So I didn't have to order lunch yesterday, but today I have to order lunch because I didn't bring anything. I think I'm going to order a salad. 
get like a Snapple or, you know, iced tea and sit outside and eat it for lunch because I never take a lunch break. And usually it's fine. Like I don't even notice it, but when it's nice out, I feel like I have to take a little break and go outside and get some vitamin D because I am never ever outside. So that's my plan for today. But in order for that to happen, I need to go into work. So. Instagram stories on my phone without even realizing it. Let me turn off the fan. It's like 8.15. I got home from work at seven or so. There's traffic. I didn't get gas, so good for me. I'm 100% out of gas now, but I got home around seven. Jesse and I just had leftovers for dinner. I put away dishes and stuff that I put off from yesterday and I just have the worst anxiety right now. It's not even anxiety about anything specific. Like it's not work. It's not, I don't know, like what else could it possibly be about? I just have anxiety. So I'm going to take a bath. A new Frenemies episode came out today. I've been loving the Frenemies podcast with Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein. Obsessed. I've watched it here and there you know, like the past two months or so, but the past week I've seen like a million episodes and I listen to it when I go to bed. Whenever I'm going to sleep, I listen to Frenemies or Tiny Meat Gang podcasts, like always. So I've really been loving Frenemies. A new episode came out, as I just said. I'm gonna take a bath and listen to that. And then maybe I'll edit a little bit of a vlog, just depending on my mood you know i actually you know in retrospect i did have an energy drink at like two o'clock so that could contribute to the anxiety because it would make sense because i have like truly nothing to be worried about so that it adds up i'm shook to the core that it's only tuesday like that's so devastating <laughs> I I know like tomorrow at the end of the day I'll feel good because I'm like oh the next day's Thursday then it's Friday but the fact that I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and be like oh my god it's only Wednesday that's shocking Good morning, you guys. 
guys, it's now Wednesday. I'm not as upset about it being Wednesday as I thought I would be last night. Just, you know, some days you have that kind of day where you're just, you're not feeling it and that's fine. Actually, all day was fine. It was just, I think my leftovers just really made me feel like really sick and that just contributed to my mood and I have no further explanation for why I felt that way, truly. But I got out this morning, I did my hair, which it looks good because you know when you sleep with it in a bun, sometimes my hair looks fine after that, but sometimes it looks horrifying and this morning it was just not salvageable so I just had to do it which is fine I really want to wear a comfy casual outfit today but I do have a closing so I can't dress that comfy or casual but I really just don't feel like wearing slacks I really don't but after my experience wearing a dress on Monday when it wasn't really that warm I just don't want to do that again there's a hair in my eyeball I have to leave a little early today because I have to get gas, as I said last night. But all over TikTok, I was seeing about this gas shortage and people on the Northeast or in the Northeast are like not able to get gas. So imagine if the gas stations near me don't have gas because I literally don't have enough to even get more than like three miles probably. And I just got mascara under my eye. But I'm ready. I used my Bare Minerals Tinted Moisturizer today instead of my L'Oreal Pro Glow just because the past few days the Pro Glow has kind of been breaking up on my face. I think I need to exfoliate so I figured I would use the Bare Minerals today. It looks pretty good. 7.40 I'm gonna go figure out what to wear and gather all my belongings because again I have to get gas and I don't know how long that could take today. This is my outfit of the day. It's another thread up piece. This video isn't even sponsored by them, but it freaking should be. This is from Octavia. I don't know where you can buy that, but it's just a cute flowy dress. It's high low, so that's how you can tell it's like maybe a tad out of style, but I don't really care. I think it's cute for work because there's like a layer under here, so it's a little sheer at the bottom. I just think it makes it look cuter, you know, and all around just like a perfect work dress if you're not feeling your body that day. I'm feeling like very bloated. So, that's not a whole thing. I actually really like it. So, just what it was I'm going to go make my and then we're going to go hope and pray that the answer's the blackest night, in just as dead. Did. But tomorrow is going to be a really not easy day, but I don't have any closings. Peach. Come here. She's pretending to be all cool in front of the camera. It's ASMR. Oh. Anyways, sorry, we got a little sidetracked there. I need to make a beverage. I'm gonna do a little haul. I ordered some, sorry, the drapes are still moving over there. I ordered some stuff. So the first thing I ordered were these Adidas NMDs. I've been wearing the same sneakers for like three years, except I did buy a pair of sneakers from Walmart last year, but I don't really wear sneakers that much since the Peloton you wear those shoes. 
but just as like casual shoes to wear with leggings or whatever. I thought these were really cute. I saw them on Instagram. I got them on sale at Macy's. They were still like a little bit more than I usually pay for sneakers, but they're really comfortable. And I just like the leopard print on the back. They're Adidas NMDs. I'll link them down below. Then I got... That's um, one of those shape something, shape ups. I got two things in the mail for Chelsea's birthday present. So I'm very excited to complete her present. I need to get like a little basket to put it all in because she's going to love this present. So I'm very excited to give that to her. And then I just got a few dresses from Shopo. So I'm just going to try them on and have an overlay, I guess. But I just got two really loose white dresses for work. Maybe if I do anything over the summer, it's like a little bridal situation I can wear them. But I just have seen them on Instagram ads over and over again, and they're so cute. I love loose dresses in the summer, especially for work, because I hate wearing slacks in the summer when it's hot because they're already uncomfortable. But then to be sweating is just like not the move. So I've got two white ones, and you can wear them off the shoulder or on the shoulder, which is good. So for work, you can wear it like regular and then do it off the shoulder. They're midi length, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about it being too short, which I hate, but um, there is like wiring on the sides. So usually I would get like a size six in a dress. I think I got a size eight in both of these. At least I hope I did because with that wiring, I'm gonna need an eight. And then, I got this floral dress also in a size eight. This is so perfect for a little picnic or a beach day or something. This I wouldn't wear to work since it has a cutout, but very cute nonetheless. And then this one, I think I'm gonna wear to work on Friday. It's a very colorful midi length dress. I also might wear this to Alyssa's rehearsal dinner because I'm obviously not going to be wearing white. So I might wear this to her rehearsal dinner. And that's everything I got. It was, Shop was like pretty mid-range. It's not as cheap as like Princess Polly or Misguided. It's definitely more expensive than that. But the shipping was really fast. And I don't like, I never find things on Princess Polly or Misguided, at least not recently, that I could wear to work. The dresses are all really, really short. And I always find that Australian brands like Princess Polly, the dresses are so short. Even Revolve, which I think is an American company, so short. It's like, what are people doing? How are you wearing these dresses? I literally feel like my ass is out before I even move. So if I slightly bend over, it's like, it's over. So those are all the dresses I got. And I can't show you, I could show you the other things I got for Chelsea, but I feel like on the off chance she does watch this video in its entirety, she'll know everything that she got. So I will just show that on Instagram when I give it to her. But tomorrow, as I said, is gonna be a pretty casual day at work. I think tomorrow I'm going to wear my new sneakers because I definitely have to, have to, have to buy new work shoes. Those nude heels are so destroyed on the bottom that it's like hard to walk now. But that's everything. I kept getting emails today while I was at work that things were getting delivered and that was very exciting for me. And I'm very excited to wear those sneakers. I'm excited for the dresses and stuff, but I'm more excited to wear the sneakers to be quite honest. And if you guys have any recommendations for good stores to buy like moderately priced work clothes, 
but especially work clothes that I could wear outside of work. Like I shop at J. Crew, Banana Republic, things like that for strictly work clothes, but that's stuff that I would never ever wear outside of work. But if you guys know of any good stores other than like Zara and H&M uh, that you can buy dresses and stuff that you'll wear to work and outside of work, let me know because now that it's summer, I'll probably be going like, you know, to dinner or just seeing people after work since the sun doesn't go down at five o'clock. And I hate to be in like really professional clothes. Even when I go to work, I still try to dress like in my style, which is neutrals and black really, but I wanna be able to have a wardrobe that I could wear on the weekends and during the week because I feel like I have two entirely separate wardrobes. And that is just expensive to do. So for dinner, we're having grilled chicken and vegetables. Hopefully, you know, freaking Jesse always wears his damn work clothes. So I can't vlog him, but yeah, he's out there grilling. And like the chef that I am, I'm heating up some leftover rice that we have. Maybe I'll be extra chef-like and even make some gravy. Look at what I've prepared. And then look at what Jesse made. What a lovely dinner. We have our selection of sauces, you know, plates and the such, the alike. Jesse's just on the phone out there. So I'm going to plate us up some food. So here we go, dinner. It looks so good. I love when grilled chicken is like slightly burnt. It's my favorite. Grilled vegetables, rice, a little bit of gravy. And I'm very excited to eat this. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Jesse's just still on the phone. So I'm gonna go eat. All right, we just finished dinner and I cleaned up. And now I'm in bed. I'm so exhausted i had like a whole to-do list well not really it was just like three things but i just cannot do it even filming that haul before i was like so tired i didn't even want to open the shit i got in the mail that's how tired i am when i get home from work so i don't know if i'm going to continue this vlog tomorrow but i still have to do my skincare and shower and all that jazz so i'll vlog once i do that it's almost nine o'clock Last night I went to bed legitimately at nine, like I was asleep at nine. And then I woke up at seven. So full 10 hours, yeah, I'm still so exhausted, but I am PMSing this week, so that could have something to do with it. I feel like I'm always PMSing. But I'm gonna shower soon, do my skincare, and then go to bed. I'm so excited to wear my new shoes tomorrow. You have no idea, so. I'm very excited. I've never done like a casual day at work. I've never worn jeans or anything like that. So I'm very excited tomorrow. I just have no meetings. I have nothing. And it's just like the perfect day to do it. So I'm very hyped to wear my sneakers. All right guys, I just did my skincare, showered, hence my wet hair. And I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's like nine. 30. I'm gonna go to bed. I feel like this vlog has to be long enough. Three days. God only knows. And I don't like to upload vlogs that are like a feature length film. So we're gonna end it here. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't. I'll see you in the next one.